What does it take to be an entrepreneur? When you wake up early in the morning thinking about, you know, your vision that you have. Whenever you choose to set up any form of business, you have to be passionate about you it. You literally want something to be successful. To be successful in entrepreneurship. It allows me to go to school to learn the profession. Meet the brains behind the business. Wait for that money to come and you must have a project. Uh, one of the mistakes when they try to be entrepreneurs is they jump into it a little bit too early. If I don't know, then I know a lot of people don't know. Mind your own business. This program provides the platform for budding entrepreneurs to initialize, educate, and develop ideas emerging into the global stage of the economy. Stay tuned on this station for Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank. Every week on Mind Your Own Business, MYOB, two lucky winners stand a chance of winning 100,000 Naira alongside consolation prizes. And that's not all. Look out for the grand roar. Third prize winner, 200,000 Naira. Second prize winner, 300,000 Naira. And the first prize winner, 500,000 Naira. Okay, here's how you participate. New and existing customers have to open and fund a UBA Lion Prime Basic account with at least 20,000 Naira or more. It's that simple. Follow UBA slash MYOB on social media for more updates. Mind Your Own Business is brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank. This is Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank. Good morning and welcome to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank. I'm Wale Famrewa and it's great to be speaking to you again today. Of course, we like to connect you to the wave of entrepreneurship happening in Nigeria at the moment. It's a tough market, but the passion and the right attitude, some are still making it here. And today we have a special guest. His name is Tunde Kende. He's the founder and CEO of ACE. It's a logistic company. We'll hear more about it. Thank you so much, Tunde, for coming in today. Thanks, Wale. Glad to be here. All right. So let's hear more about your story. We know that it didn't start with ACE. Just take us back from maybe paid employment to moving into the entrepreneurship um, experience. Sure. So um, I grew up in a family of entrepreneurs. So that's what actually gave me the bug. My Both my parents own their own businesses. Same thing with extended family. Aunties, uncles own their own businesses. So I almost knew from a very young age that this was going to be my, my path. Right. So it's, it's in the DNA, if it's you like. It's in the DNA. Okay. It's in the DNA, for, for better or worse. Um, but you know, I, went, I grew up here in Lagos, um, went to college in the States at Howard University. Mm. And I worked for a while in New York as a banker. I was doing uh, eye banking. Mm. And then I went to business school at uh, Harvard because I wanted to round up my experience, not just to be a finance professional. Okay. And that's where I really be the book to say look it's time to come back home to Africa to have impact and I guess give my own quota I took a minor detour worked at Diageo for about a year in London and then came back to launch uh, Jumia right everyone knows Jumia yes okay and then of course after that Ace correct okay so tell us more about Ace you know what's what's the business help us appreciate what you do sure so what we are building with Ace is a continent-wide fulfillment network where the everyday SME or large brand or individual can ship across the entire continent, can track your package more or less real-time, mm. and you can also receive a payment at the point of delivery. That's right. our vision. And we're now about two and a half years old. We launched in a small boys quarters here in Lagos, mm. and now we're about a hundred people across six different cities. We've shipped now to about 350,000 customers. Um, and we work with close to 800 businesses. Wow, so it's, it's definitely uh, taken off. It's taken off, yeah. All right. And, you know, any major challenges? Because it does sound like it's pretty unique. We know we've had logistic companies, but some of the elements you spoke of just now suggest that it is different. You know, people can track their packages online and all of that. Yeah. Challenges, yeah. I mean, there are numerous challenges. As you can imagine, um, to run a great fulfillment network, you need fantastic infrastructure, mm. so roads, a great addressing so you can find the customer. But we're still building that here locally, right? So what we try and offer to our customers is, look, we can get your package from A to B, typically next day. Mm. Um, we've built a world-class technology backend that gives you real transparency, not just to you as a business, but to your end customer where the package stands. And also from the ground up, a cash tracking system that allows us to get a payment for you and get it back to you within two working days. Mm. And what we constantly focus on is getting the best talent possible in different parts of our business to help us achieve that, right? So we're very focused on not just, you know, um, 
the best talent, but also the best young Nigerian talent. So right. I think our average age in our business is maybe about 25, 26. Okay. Young people with big responsibilities, managing big accounts and proving that they can help grow a business. Right. Where did the idea come from? You know, did you wake up and say, okay, it's time to do logistics? You know, how did that happen? So interestingly, I actually had an idea for logistics maybe close to 10 years ago mm. uh, when I was just leaving um, college. But the real concrete plan came towards the end of my time at Jumia because right. the biggest pain point we had was just getting an item from point A to point B. Mm. And we said for there to be real commerce across the continent, whether it's e-commerce, whether it's retail, you need to be able to get your goods to the end customer. Mm. And in particular in this environment where we're not yet fully paying online, it was also clear that pay on delivery will be a key piece of that. Mm -hmm. And so we said, look, for there to be another 100 e-commerce ventures, there needs to be the underlying fulfillment platform to help them reach their customers. And right. why can't we build it? So you are the one serving all these e-businesses right now, helping them deliver their packages and so forth. So what's interesting, actually, we started out focusing on e-commerce, but we've gotten interest from so many different sectors. Okay. So from financial institutions, banks, insurance businesses, fast food companies. Because if you think about our market, Physically getting to a store mm. or to a retail branch mm. is extremely difficult. In fact, physically right? getting anywhere is extremely difficult. Especially with the traffic. Exactly. And so what the customer is saying, look, bring it to me, right? Mm. I will mm. select what I want from a website. I will tell you when I want it, get it to my doorstep, and I'll pay at the doorstep. Mm. And so just due to our infrastructure challenges, it was the great timing for us. And right. so different sectors are coming out to us asking, can you help me? Is that the future? You know, the fact that the customer of the future just wants you to bring it to him. He doesn't want to go out there because there's too much traffic, you know, there's too much stress. Is that what you're investing into? So our belief is it's now. Mm. It's today, right? I mean, the customer is saying, look, I want more and more convenience across the different ways I interact with my desired brand. So maybe on the weekend, if I have time, I'll physically go to a mall. But during the weekday when I'm stuck in the office, look, I'd rather or order through a website or through a text message or through a mobile phone yeah. and the brands that win will offer that omni-channel experience. Mm. How scalable is this business? Because you said it's Africa Courier Express so yeah. obviously you want to go beyond Nigeria. Yeah. You know, how far can you take this? To be honest, I think this thing can be relevant not just in Nigeria, not just on the continent but truly globally, right? Mm. Because you think about what's happening here, we're looking at entrepreneurs and businesses looking not just to ship within Lagos, we want to expand their markets to across the country to other parts of Africa, but you're also seeing a number of international retailers saying, look, I want to trade with Nigeria, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not necessarily set up a physical presence here. Mm. So why not work with someone like Ace that can warehouse your goods, pick and pack and ship to the customer? And it's almost like what Netflix is doing where you just indicate on your website right. and now allow ordering within Nigeria mm. and we handle the local delivery for you. Mm. No, it sounds quite interesting and obviously a very interesting sector to play in. Um, we'll get more into your story after the break but before the break we always like our guests to make a music selection so Tunde, what would you like? Um, anything from the bunch. Alright, okay. So we'll bring that for you and we'll come back after this break and talk more with Tunde Kende, the founder and CEO of Ace. Coming up on Mind Your Own Business. At the end of the day, I really believe you need the right people in the right seat so that when there is no clear-cut way to answer a problem, they are so trained, they are so smart, they'll figure it out. So we invest a lot in finance. Welcome back to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's Global Bank. We're speaking to Tunde Kende, the founder and CEO of ACE, and he's telling us his story about how he is building a very interesting logistics business. Uh, Tunde, I want to get into you know the team, because at the end of the day, I imagine that you, you, you have a pretty large team. If not large directly, it's, it's complicated because you've got to get everywhere. I imagine that you're serving the whole country. So give us some insight into how big your team is and you know, the the impact of building a winning team on your business. Sure. So we are about 100 people across um, five cities in Nigeria. So Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ibadan, and Abelkuta. Right. Um, and it's a big mix. So everything from riders who are on bikes to folks who are doing digital marketing, building web applications. And the team is critical. I mean, your, your program is about entrepreneurship. For us, it's very clear for any company to succeed, if you don't have a winning team from day one, it's you're already behind the eight ball, right? Mm. The way I liken it is 
like soccer. You need a great defender, a great midfielder, a great striker. You kind of all have strikers. And it all comes together. Yeah. yeah, correct. Right. And you mentioned that it's a relatively young team. I think you said the average age is 26. Yeah. Can you speak to that point? You know, building a young team because very often the young have a they, they, they find many people just you know suggest that the young are not ready the young are not serious you know there's so many things against the young driving a, a large organization but i imagine that is different with you tell us more yeah no so we look for great talent period right so the idea is if you are a an ambitious person you want to go after a very big project and you're very hardworking, please mm. come and talk to us. You can apply directly on ace.ng. Mm. And what we find is you then need to mix the team with enough experienced heads in key roles so that you can guide, you can train, and you can help them develop. Mm. And our experience has been with the right structure, people can do amazing things. Right. We have folks who are managing close to 800 clients, as I mentioned. We wow. have folks who are directly managing hubs and at the age of 25, directly under them is 35 people. Sorry, you, you mentioned 800 people. Do you need special training for that? I mean, or is it just IT that makes that happen? So it's a great point. What I find is the right technology makes it easier. Right, mm. because you can then begin to structure and say, look, how are people choosing to interact with me? What questions do they have? Mm. And it can funnel it to the right team rather than it, it being chaos. Mm. So we invest a lot in the, in world-class technology. We have real transparency into where every single package stands, who are our merchants and what are they asking us, and also how are our end customers interacting with us, right? right. Is it via email, via text? How are they choosing to buy products? And then from there, we can now offer the best solution. Right. What's that thing that makes this business work for you? What What is that thing inside it that you've planted in it? Is it the culture? Is it the philosophy? Is it the IT? You know, what is it that you think distinguishes this business long term? It's the culture. Mm. It's the people, right? Mm. What's going to enable the success of those people is technology, is process, it's investment, right? But at the end of the day, I really believe you need the right people in the right seat so that when there is no clear-cut way to answer a problem, they are so trained, they are so smart, they'll figure it out. So we invest a lot in finding the right people. Would you say finding good people is difficult? Is, is it a process? Or are, they, are there many good people out there? How will you describe that? Especially with a focus on young people. Mm. So it's definitely difficult, but it's possible, right? Mm. So what we try and do is make it easy for great folks to find us, right? right? So you can apply directly with us on our website. You can indicate what kind of role you want, where you physically want to work. You can tell us what your specialty is. You can come in for an interview, typically within a week of application, mm. go through a screening process. Mm. And we try and make it really painless to work mm. with us. Right, right. Um, What's the mix, though? You mentioned average age is 26, but give us some more insight into the mix. Do you have, for instance, people in college still working for you? Or is it all graduates? You know, just give us a sense. So everyone is a graduate. But mm. what's interesting is I think the mix is quite healthy between young guys and girls. So the person who heads our PR effort and our uh, HR is a lady. Our lead developer is a lady. Mm. Um, our operations is a, is a guy. So we just try and focus on what are you passionate about? Do right. you have the skills to do it? And then we hire you. Right. Guy, girl, age, right. doesn't matter. So where is this business going? Where do you see it going? I know uh, sometime earlier this year, you got some investments from Intersuite, I believe. Yeah. So obviously some people believe that it's going in the right direction, but how far do you see it going? Uh, there's a great saying, I think, by um, Zuckerberg. He says, look, he wants Facebook to be useful, not a mm -hmm. trend useful. Mm -hmm. The idea for us is we want to be just like a utility almost. When you think of shipping, when you think of getting an item from A to B, you think of Ace. Mm -hmm. And it goes from being a pain point to being almost an afterthought, right? Mm -hmm. Like drinking a glass of water. Mm. If, I want, if, I, if I want my package to get to Abidjan, Johannesburg, other parts of Lagos, call us. All right. Okay, we'll get into that entrepreneur DNA after the break. We'll have to take another break now. But another music selection, what will you like this time? Whiskey. All right. I'm sure we can bring that for you. And we'll come back after this break and continue our conversation with Tunde Kende, the CEO and founder of Ace. Coming up on Mind Your Own Business. I believe a mistake would be to say, look, just because I see a problem here, I'm just going to jump into it. You mm -hmm. might learn that way, you might end up doing it, but mm -hmm. I truly believe if you're very passionate about something, spend the time to truly understand it. 
What does it take to be an entrepreneur? When you wake up early in the morning thinking about, you know, your vision that you have. Whenever you choose to set up any form of business, you have to be passionate about it. You literally want something to be successful. To be successful in entrepreneurship. Realize they need to go to school to learn the profession. Meet the brains behind the business. Wait for that money to come and you must have a budget. Uh, one of the mistakes when they try to be entrepreneurs is they jump into it a little bit too early. If I don't know, then I know a lot of people don't know. Mind your own business. This program provides the platform for budding entrepreneurs to initialize, educate, and develop ideas emerging into the global stage of the economy. Stay tuned on this station for Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank. Every week on Mind Your Own Business, MYOB, two lucky winners stand a chance of winning 100,000 Naira alongside consolation prizes. And that's not all. Look out for the grand drawer. Third prize winner, 200,000 Naira. Second prize winner, 300,000 Naira and the first prize winner 500,000 Naira Okay, here's how you participate New and existing customers have to open and fund a UBA Lion Prime basic account with at least 20,000 Naira or more It's that simple Follow UBA slash MYOB on social media for more updates Mind Your Own Business is brought to you by UBA Africa's Global Bank Welcome back to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA Africa's Global Bank. We're speaking about entrepreneurship. Our guest today is Tunde Kende, the founder and CEO of Ace, a logistics company operating, of course, out of Lagos. Uh, we want to get into that entrepreneur DNA now. And today, I want you to maybe begin by just helping us appreciate who's an entrepreneur and your pers- what's your perspective about being an entrepreneur? Well, I think of what motivates me, right? So I'm very motivated to have positive impact on this country, on our continent overall. Uh, I'm very motivated to provide opportunities to young people to help SMEs to grow. Mm. Um, and just overall to maximize whatever my potential is, right? Mm. So, and I think you can be an entrepreneur in several ways. There are entrepreneurs that are within large corporations who are mm-hmm. helping to launch new divisions or to innovate, mm-hmm. or folks like myself who are launching new businesses. Mm-hmm. I think it's a, the definition is getting looser and looser, but mm-hmm. I move it towards positive impact, innovation, making things happen. Would you describe yourself as a risk taker? Do you think that is that is a given for an entrepreneur? It's interesting. From the outside looking in, I think people call me a risk taker, but for mm-hmm. me, I take calculated risks. Right. right? Um, what really guides a lot of what I do and how I jumped into this is a lot of passion, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also investigation to understand, look, do I really have a skill set here that I can succeed in where I'm trying to succeed? Right. I think there's a great saying that they say, look, look for where you can add value, right? My passion is I love football, but I'll never ah. be a soccer player, right? Okay. But I can add value in what I'm doing now in logistics and internet technology. So I try and focus on where I can add value. All right. And I imagine you're a premiership fan. Which, which team is yours? Liverpool, we're going ah. through a restructuring period. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a great coach now. <laughs> exactly. We'll see what happens. Yes. Okay, but let's talk about skill sets here yeah, because yeah. I think you mentioned that to some extent. Mm-hmm. Um, is that where you find where you can invest yourself? Um, or is it more of... I think I've spoken to some people on this show that they, they feel they just they see problems and they feel, okay, there might be a way to fix it. Or are you one of those that just focuses more on what skills do I have and which problems can I fix? Mm. So, I really believe that great businesses are built on insights, right? So, I believe a mistake would be to say, look, just because I see a problem here, I'm just going to jump into it. You Mm -hmm. might learn that way, you might end up doing it, but Mm -hmm. I truly believe if you're very passionate about something, spend the time to truly understand it. Mm -hmm. I understand logistics and fulfillment because we spent two years building the largest e-commerce platform here, so I really intimately know the problems that are faced getting a package from A to B. And obviously that helps you build this business. Exactly. So if you truly love what you're doing, whether it's clothing, whether it's entertainment, spend your time, work for someone who's done it before, before you go branch out. You will learn a lot more. Mm. I want you to speak to entrepreneurs. Um, Usually on this show, we like our guests to to put out tips there. And, you know, if there are three things you want to say to a budding entrepreneur, someone coming out of of university, you know, hasn't done Harvard yet, but he's thinking of starting a business, or someone sitting in a bank somewhere and feels, you know, I want to go out there and do something, what will you say to them? 
So the first thing I say is the point I just made. If you're truly passionate about whatever you think it is, go and work in that industry mm. because you'll get some insights that you know, will be so valuable to you and will really help your. So that could be the calculated the risk part. Exactly. Just work in there. Exactly. Find somebody to work with or work for. Precisely. If it's mm. your passion and you want to do it for the rest of your life, one year is no time to learn or six months to learn and then go. Mm. Um, the second thing I'll say is it starts from with the team. If you mm. don't have a world-class team from day one or as best as possible, you're in trouble. How long d- did you... I mean, I imagine there will always be some core guys in your team. Yes. How long did that take for you to find those people or were you just fortunate to meet them from the beginning? So what's interesting is I worked with my current business partner for almost a year before we launched this. Mm. So he was our chief operating officer for Jumia Africa. Right. So we had worked hand in hand. I had seen his strengths, I had seen his weaknesses. We've been through a lot together. And so I knew, look, it's such a great compliment. He knows mm. logistics and fulfillment inside out. I understand the local market and the commercials. So mm-hmm. it was a great team from day one. And so I really suggest to folks, the easy thing to do is find your best friend and launch a business. Mm. That's not going to work. Mm. Figure out if my skill set is X, what is the compliment I need? So your partner business. doesn't really have to be your friend. Is that what you're saying? I think you have to have a good relationship because right. obviously you guys who work, you see yourselves more than your family. Mm. So you have to honest, be reasonably close and understand yourself. Almost like a marriage. You have to understand yourself, right? Mm. Um, but the skill set needs to be complementary. But Very you, important. is it like a gut feel or uh, is it also a calculated risk? You know, because at the end of the day, yeah. you have to trust whoever you're working yes. with, right? Yes. So it's a mix of both. So the calculated risk is we had worked together for a year. So mm-hmm. I knew him inside out. He also mm. knew me inside out. Mm. And then you can then say, look, the paper stuff checks out. Mm-hmm. And my... God tells me it's also the right person. I'm going to go for it. Mm, okay. All right. I think I interrupted you. here. Can you just continue with the tips? Okay. So, yeah. So, we said, look, insight, great, great team. And I think the third one, which is not really mentioned enough, is it's going to be a marathon. Mm. Right. So, stay in power. Exactly. Make sure your physical health, your mental health, your closeness to your family stays. Right. Mm. Because, you know, I think oftentimes we see a lot of overnight successes but they're typically 10, 20 years of overnight successes right mm. and so you need to make sure that look I'm here for the long haul mm. you won't be Mark Zuckerberg overnight mm. so make sure that look I understand what I'm getting into and I make sure that I'm ready for that battle as we begin to round up you mentioned health and if you can just speak to that point you know to what extent is taking care of yourself your body important to success very quickly if you can speak to that it's critical it's critical because you need your mind to be fresh mm. right and your mind is only fresh with enough sleep Mm. with uh, going for a run or going for a swim. And to be honest, taking some time out to relax, right? Some, it's good to take a, a, a lunch sometimes outside the office mm. or on the weekend, hang out with your friends. You come back refreshed. Mm. When you try and go every single day, 24 hours, you'll burn out and mm. you won't be as strong as you can for your team, for your customers, etc. All right. All right. Thank you, Tunde, for joining us. It'd be really great having you on the show. Of course, we'll be speaking to Tunde Kende, the founder and CEO of Ace, a very interesting story and a great entrepreneur. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for listening. Good morning. You're listening to Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA. Africa's global bank. For inquiries on Mind Your Own Business, follow on Twitter at MYOBiz Nigeria and UBA Group, Facebook.com forward slash MYOB Nigeria and Facebook.com forward slash UBA Group, Instagram.com forward slash Mind Your Own Biz Nigeria or email CFC at UBA Group.com. You can also call UBA CFC on 01. 01- Two eight zero double eight double two or zero one six three one nine eight double two and zero seven hundred two two five five eight double two. Today's business tips on mind your own business from Tunde Kende, founder and CEO of Ace, is passion, good partner relationship, and good health. What does it take to be an entrepreneur? When you wake up early in the morning thinking about, you know, your vision that you have. Whenever you choose to set up any form of business, you have to be passionate about it. You literally want something to be successful. To be successful in entrepreneurship. Realize they need to go to school to learn the profession. Meet the brains behind the business. Wait for that money to come and you must have a project. Uh, One of the mistakes when they try to be entrepreneurs is they jump into it a little bit too early. If I don't know, then I know a lot of people don't know. Mind Your Own Business. This program provides the platform for budding entrepreneurs to initialize, educate, and develop ideas emerging into the global stage of the economy. Stay tuned on this station for Mind Your Own Business, brought to you by UBA. 
Africa's Global Bank. Every week on Mind Your Own Business, MYOB, two lucky winners stand a chance of winning 100,000 Naira alongside consolation prizes. And that's not all. Look out for the grand drawer. Third prize winner, 200,000 Naira. Second prize winner, 300,000 Naira. And the first prize winner, 500,000 Naira. Okay, here's how you participate. New and existing customers have to open and fund a UBA Lion Prime Basic account with at least 20,000 Naira or more. It's that simple. Follow UBA slash MYOB on social media for more updates. Mind Your Own Business is brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank. That was Mind Your Own Business. Brought to you by UBA, Africa's global bank.